Sponsored by WildDFX.com, bringing you the best Forex experience. My name is Samuel Leach, Forex and stock trader, author and TED speaker. I'm about to put my reputation and over £350,000 on the line in the Real Forex Trader Series 2. To prove anyone can become a profitable trader with the right mentor and mindset. Trading has given me the skill set to travel the world and live an incredible lifestyle. I'll be taking 18 ordinary people without any trading experience and throwing them into the deep end of the financial markets. It's not going to be easy and myself and my team only have four weeks to turn these individuals into profitable traders. So at the moment there's 275,000 in the room. This is going to be one of the biggest challenges of their lives as they compete to become a consistent profitable trader. If you can't tell what red and green is, then you're going out. Four hundred pounds in loss. The joys of trading. We are down 2,655. <laughs> in the height of the most volatile markets since the Lehman Brothers collapse, how will these beginners handle the financial and emotional pressures of the market? Hard shelled, mate, mate. I feel like I failed myself physically. Together. Everyone thinks trading is easy, but when the pressure is on, how will they succeed? I don't know if I can do this anymore. What's the point of even talking to me yet? <laughs> <laughs> I believe we can do it. My heart's going bum, 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 bum. Previously on The Real Forex Trader. I'll just start and start how you can trade 2% and not know 2% of your account. I didn't actively look at that figure. How yeah. much can 2% if you're not 2%? Yeah, that's true. Like, I don't know about you, but I'm calling it bullshit. Did you actually take a trade last week on that NHS news because it never came out? Well, I don't understand why you're here. I'm here because I want to learn. Um, you're given an opportunity for people from many different backgrounds and perhaps people don't have the um, experience or the knowledge um, in a forex market. It means everything to me basically, you know, to, to be here, to have the opportunity to be here in the first place I'm very grateful for and I wouldn't let you down even if I, you know, didn't get all the way through. You don't know what CPI is? No. Because I'm not. You don't know the exchange rate of a pound, US dollar? Yeah. Don't know the Bank of England interest rate? Have you looked uh, into the company? What can you tell us about Samuel Craig Trading? No, I haven't looked into anything. So you've applied, you've applied to come on and do a month never. training bus and you no. haven't even bothered to look at us? No. Would you, would you accept yourself if you were us? Probably not. So why, why are you here? What's the point yeah, coming no. here today? The first challenge of the day is going to be building a spaghetti bridge. So from this experience we want to see how individuals react with team skills amongst each other or someone that's taking complete charge. We're going to put some trading examples in front of them and they're to decide whether or not they would take them based on their ethical background. They, they will be stuck in the, in the country. That's factually incorrect. Yeah. So coronavirus cannot be transferred on an object or an item over 24 hours. So, so I would say try to stick to the information that, that you're given. So, can you guys get yourselves into two groups of seven? One will be heading out with Ben, who's the previous um, finalist, one of the finalists in uh, the previous series, and also James, who's one of the senior members of staff, who's also my brother. So you'll be heading out seven and seven. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this side. So you guys jump in with James, and the other guys jump in with Ben. I specifically G to jump in with Ben as well. Um, so there's seven and seven. Um, there's also the chap that flew over from Germany, he's managed to get here for literally five minutes of ETA on flights getting cancelled and everything else. Like I said, he's kept us up to date, so he'll be jumping in with you guys as well. So he's going to have to just jump in with any one of you, yeah? Laptop bags only, all right, um, and then straight downstairs, all go. Right. Let's go. Nah, so working. Done. Bye. 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 Bye.
Okay. <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere with a load of farm farm animals should we say so today the challenge is that you've got to be catching sheep and bringing them back Very interesting <laughs> show, <isn't> it? <laughs> just joking so um today i decided to bring you to a place where i came um which is a very random location it's hopefully something that none of you have ever probably done ever in your life and today is about a team activity, which some of you may have seen on the way coming in, which is ice curling. Has anyone here ever done ice curling before? I thought so. Use a mop, that's about it. Use the mop? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So for some of those that don't know, you'll be explained by those guys inside. You're going to be having an internal team competition against each other, where the weakest team will have to either leave the, leave the uh, competition or there'll be a forfeit for those individuals. So you don't want to be the team that comes the bottom. Seeing as none of you have done it, it's the most probably fair thing that you can all do as a team activity. So you'll be working in teams of, I think, threes and fours, but I'll let those guys decide it. It's going to be cold in there, so it's um, something that you're going to have to deal with. But the uh, competition is that you're going to be playing on different lanes against each other and circulating your teams. So it's about working as a unit, as a team. You'll find out that it's actually not all about individual power of what you do down the actual ice rink. It's about what you tell your sweepers to do as well. So it's a completely different thing from probably anything that you've ever done before. But it's one of the big challenges of your team building, seeing as you're going to have to work in teams, we thought let's put you into a, a tough scenario like this. So you don't want to be bottom. Does everyone understand? It's pretty much straightforward. Some of our guys are here just to have a bit of a mess around and do it as well. For you guys, you're obviously head to head in a competition. So let's go inside and we'll go get a demo of exactly what you guys are doing, all right? probably wondering why did we choose curling? Now curling is a sport that none of us really do so it makes it fair with all teams selected but two there's a hidden trick behind this it's all about lowering their guard they're out curling having fun 
as a team and they're building their friendship relationships. What I'm about to do is I'm about to turn this upside down and add one of the biggest shockers that we could do. We're about to test their stress levels and see how they cope in the uncomfortable and under pressure. Now my TED talk talks so highly about thriving in the uncomfortable. Let's see if they can do it. If you win a game, you get two points. If you lose a game, you get no points. So your points go here, but because they're two end games, if you win one of the rounds within a game, you still win an end, and however many points you scored, you get the shots as well. <laughs> right, so you two as the skips, you're in charge of your team, so you need to be nice and loud, so you've got two other lanes here, so shout if you think they need to speak, shout no if they don't need to speak. Yeah! It's not so easy. It's coming too fast. Don't sweep, stop, whatever you need to do, stop and sweep. Yeah. Perfect, so when you're ready, you can tell them to stop throwing. here. Uh, I'm going to read them out from first place to last place. So in first place with a very impressive four points, five ends won and nine shots made was team one TFL. In second place also with four points but they only got two ends and three shots was team three the Ice Masters. Last place with two points, one end, and one shot was Rip Curling. Who, who, who was in the bottom team, guys? Put your hands up. Okay. Because it was so close between the bottom two, you're going to do a one end face off to find out who the losing team is. So the winning team. If you can, go and join all of my guys down there along the side and line up by the glass and watch on on the final game. And make sure you add as much death stairs as possible for pressure. It's a big time. You've got a losing team that's going to come out of this. So you've got one face off, which means you've got one end. I've said that all right, yeah? Yep. Yeah, perfect. Right. And because team uh, four came dead last, they're going to throw first giving team two the final shot. Right, perfect, so start playing. This is your first chance, guys. Let's make sure this is the only game that counts now.
guys' team is over sweeping far too long. You are sweeping everything. I couldn't have done anything else. No, no, we played the best you, we could and best. We, didn't, we didn't win. You so actually done the best. Bang in the middle and... You, you actually got it in the, in the pocket for them. And then, and then like... Yeah, they put me away. <laughs> and then they... Put me away. We got that KO. Yeah. Okay, guys. Listen up. Get you all in. So today's activity is finished. It's a shame because Dom looked like you had it in the bag for your team as well. You hit right bang in the centre and the pressure just came and you, you did really well. So congrats guys. So the coaches that were working with you guys throughout the day through your event was ranking you as well based on your inputs and morale and whether or not you're getting involved. Um, so the two strongest people that we had today that was voted was um, yourself, Dom, and uh, where are we? and yourself as well. So you two were voted as the uh, top individuals. Um, again, um, all right. yourself you was voted at the bottom again by the coaches, so they didn't know you. So that's unfortunate. That's two days on the trot, so that's uh, very very concerning. And also yourself, Thomas, as well. So um, you two has voted the wrong. Today was about teamwork. Tomorrow is only going to get harder, okay? So tomorrow is going to be four, five, six, seven times as hard as what we did today. Today was fun, tomorrow is hard, and the rest of the week is going to get even harder. So if you think that these tasks aren't for you, then I definitely suggest just withdrawing. Is there anyone that wants to withdraw from the competition at the moment? We've already lost three people on day one. Is there anyone at all that would like to withdraw and just thinks that it's not for them at this moment in time? Okay. Tomorrow there will be rewards in place for those that are successful and do very well. So we do need you guys to make sure that tomorrow morning that you bring your spa stuff, okay? So when I say spa stuff, I mean your swimming stuff, a towel as well. And also what I need you to bring is your gym stuff. So if you was to go for a hike, I would like you to pack a bag as if you was going for a hike. So you would need shoes that you don't mind getting muddy and you would need an outfit that you don't mind getting muddy. Or if you was doing weights, same thing. 
Everyone understand? <laughs> okay. Tomorrow, if anyone is late, we'll be leaving without you. We have a very tight schedule. We have to leave at 4.45 a.m. So we are leaving at quarter to five. Tomorrow is when we will be losing probably one or two people. And going into Monday will be the hard part. So if you make it through tomorrow, the next, almost we call it the purge, will take place on Monday morning, which is where we'll go down to six to eight people. It's not funny. Why are you laughing? I just remember it from the last series. In the yeah. Well, let's see if you make it there. So six to eight people in the finals, and that's when we carry on and take those people through to the market. So your task will be told to you at the halfway point when we're on our way of what's to be expected. So there could be no planning or anything like that done beforehand. All I want you to do is tomorrow is just remember one thing, is to remain calm at all times and make sure that you are going to be put out of your comfort zone. It's something that's going to happen. Will they crack or will they crumble under the pressure they're about to go through? This next challenge is going to separate those that know how to handle their emotions and can thrive under pressure. Let's see who we break. So guys, we're obviously on the border of uh, Wales now. and We're just at the service stations um, where we're going to actually get changed now into our almost hiking stuff. Some of you guys know, you may see me on social media. Um, I did Ben Nevis. Does anyone know what we're near to here? Snowden. There we are, we're going up Mount Snowden. So guys, it's gonna be a struggle for some of you who have never done it before. Anyone done it? You done it? I've done my barriers, like the, okay. the one with the train. So in the weather that we're in at the moment, it is bloody cold, yeah? It's snowy on the top of the mountain. So what we have got is we have got a driver that's coming here will be a very specialist tour guide for us who knows the routes of well of the mountain and will make sure that we all get up there safely and back down. Hence why we're here at sunrise, because it takes a while to get up and come down. Before we start the challenge, does anyone want to quit? Anyone at all? You can quit and you can sit in a nice warm bus, warm bus for the rest of the... Yeah, rest. Your jacket so you're nice and warm as well. <laughs> anyone? Okay. So this is going to test your emotional side, it's going to test your pressure side, how much are you willing to actually take, your endurance, your stress levels will be going quite nuts as well because when you start seeing the snow at the top of the mountain you realise actually how hard it is. Any questions? excited for this challenge, you know. I'm very prepared as well. So uh, it should be good. Stress levels are increasing as well. I think everyone's getting a bit nervous, but they're saying they're not nervous on camera, but they are nervous. Um, there's a risk that I'm gonna die in, in the in, in, while I'm gonna climbing. Depends on the weather there. But yeah, I'm willing to risk it, you know. I'm not good with cold, so it's gonna be quite interesting. It will be a challenge for me, but I'll, I'll do it. Flying colours. Yeah, I'm excited about it. Looking forward to it. It's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting for sure. So, do you reckon everyone's going to make it? No. So I don't think anyone will stop and walk them back home. So they will have to either come with us with the group or we'll have to see how we can handle it. I just had a quick look on uh, my phone and there's four hazards for today: severe chill, gales, poor visibility and strong sunlight, it's going to be a good day. Uh, the coach is here, there's, there's been a lot, quite a lot of storm damage uh, on the route, so I've just spoken to the coach driver, she's happy to, she knows some shortcuts and things like okay. that, so just, just bear with me. 
okay? Yeah. Right, right, fill up from the back of the coach, please. Trader. Sponsored by WildDFX.com, bringing you the best Forex experience.